In 2020, ExxonMobil and Seaplane.ai teamed up to explore and prove the benefits of system orchestration technology in the lifecycle management of an open industrial control system. The resulting pilot addressed concerns about the complexity and manageability of open systems in a converged IT and OT industrial control system. The pilot goals were to demonstrate the art of the possible with system orchestration technology by reducing the complexity and effort to deploy an industrial control system using little to no IT expertise and to conform as much as possible to open standards and practices as defined by the Open Process Automation Standard as well as other desirable standards like OPC UA. The pilot consisted of a heterogeneous mix of IT and OT technologies simulating a chemical processing plant. The system started with industrial IT compute devices replacing legacy DCS and PLCs and was powered on and connected to an Ethernet network as well as being connected to simulated I.O. networks. We use the Aviva Wonderware HMI to represent a chemical process. And using the Seaplane controller, we were able to deploy the system in three steps. The first step is to discover all of the infrastructure underneath. The orchestrator is now querying all of the digital devices on the control network, capturing the details of each device into the orchestrator's information model. This discovery process takes approximately 90 seconds to perform. The orchestrator has effectively constructed a digital twin of the control system in its memory of both IT and OT topologies. Here we see a summary of the IT infrastructure but the orchestrator also has an understanding of the physical manufacturing plant, which will help it determine how and where to install the control system software elements. The second step of the three-step deployment process is to program the Seaplane orchestrator with the control system's digital lifecycle requirements. This programming step is made simple using a cloud standard known as TOSCA, the system's lifecycle requirements, as they are ingested by the orchestrator, give intelligence to its digital twin model. The last of the three steps is to activate the orchestrator to deploy the ICS software. The orchestrator is now provisioning and installing the control system both in sequence where required and in parallel where allowed. For example, before deploying the control applications, the orchestrator is getting things like Docker and OPC UA in place and ready. The orchestrator has provisioned software and configured services, including Schneider Electric 61499 engineering runtime, on a dozen devices. This process has taken about five minutes. And the relationship of function blocks to their respective I.O. connections is seen here. With the control system now deployed, we can see that the HMI is receiving data from the I.O. sensors via OPC UA, and we can go ahead and initiate the process. I'd like to take just a minute to introduce system orchestration using the Seaplane orchestration platform. The role of system orchestration is to take complex, sequential, manual processes and automate them with software-defined orchestration for greater speed, accuracy, and reliability. The first two steps of the pilot are seen here in the discovery of the physical system and the programming of the orchestrator with the system lifecycle requirements. These first two steps allow the Seaplane orchestrator to build a sophisticated digital twin model of the control infrastructure and then calculate and execute all the steps necessary to deploy and configure the total control system. This pilot demonstrated only one of the key phases of the life cycle of a control system, the startup phase. System orchestration also simplifies other complex scenarios such as self-healing should faults occur in the control infrastructure or adding and upgrading hardware and software or applying updates and patches to the system automatically. I would like to conclude by sharing with you the four key findings 
from this successful pilot. First is that creating a reliable industrial control system using open standards and multiple vendors software and hardware is possible using system orchestration technology. Second, we demonstrated that open standards are critical to interoperability. They make heterogeneous systems easier to manage and more reliable to implement and operate. Third, the inevitable complexity of integrating familiar OT solutions with modern information technologies requires cooperation and collaboration among vendors and end users, but it is achievable with spectacular results. And lastly, in order to accelerate innovation and adoption of open multi-vendor and interoperable control systems, the adoption of system orchestration is essential. We'd like to thank Schneider Electric, Supermicro, and especially ExxonMobil for their cooperation, collaboration, and their leadership. Please visit our website to learn more about this pilot and also about system orchestration for industrial control systems.